there, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. On today's project we have a pretty kind of clean and simple one, however we are going to be doing a couple of cool techniques, some paper piecing and some stamp kissing that we are focusing on today and I am using these two stamp sets. I'm starting with a piece of paper that was left over from another project and I'm first of all cutting it down to be four and a quarter by five and a half inches and then I decide I might as well cut it down now with this one because I won't be trimming anything off later. So I cut this down to be four by five and a quarter inches to give it a really nice frame on the card base. Now this first one here is the Butterfly Cascade and this is a gorgeous stamp set. I can think of so many uses for this one uh, so I'm excited to get it. It's really fun to get some bold filled in stamps sometimes uh, rather than just outlines and I didn't have many in my stash or any so that's what led to this purchase. Now I think perhaps this could be used on a slimline card, however when I see this stamp I am not, I don't often make slimline cards. So when I see a nice long stamp like this, I just see an option for variation um, within my four and a quarter by five and a half inch cards that I like to make. So that means I can kind of shift the butterflies around and everything won't look exactly the same when I stamp it down each time on my different cards. So I have this in a stamping platform and I'm using some VersaFine Onyx Black Ink and I'm just going to stamp this down. Now my ink pad here is actually getting really dry. I definitely need to re-ink that. In fact, I haven't even done that yet so it's on my to-do list. But I'm going to push this down and then I am going to open it up and I do think that it is a little bit not quite dark enough for my liking and honestly that's not usually how the VersaFine stamps it definitely tells me that my ink pad is dry and I need to re-ink it so that's a really good sign when you think that it's not stamping as it usually does or you can see that it hasn't stamped quite uh, very clearly or it's a little bit patchy perhaps you need to re-ink some of your ink pads so I re-ink it and the second time it was a good one now this is just kind of the base for my uh, butterflies and I will need to give this ink a little bit of time to dry because this is a pigment ink so they stay wetter a little bit longer. They more sit on top of the paper rather than sinking in. Now this is that other piece of paper that I just cut off before so it's just a scrap because I am going to do a little bit of stamping and then I will cut these butterflies out. Now this is where our stamp kissing technique comes into play. It's not super obvious on this project. I didn't really want everything to take over. Um, so I am bringing in some VersaFine Clear inks. These are pigment inks and they are beautiful for stamping. This is the summertime color, so it's an orangey color. Um, obviously you can do this with dye inks, absolutely no problem at all, but I do really love the VersaFine Clear inks for stamping and that's one of the reasons that I got them. So I'm going to stamp this down, the butterfly, just once. And then I have the stamp he set here, which are the Mod Circles stamp set. Now, although these stamps are gorgeous by themselves, they are also gorgeous for using as texture against other stamps. So I'm just deciding which one I want to use. Lots of these stamps on here would work perfectly for this technique and I actually used this stamp set in a different way uh, a couple of cards ago on my channel so if you'd like to check that out I've definitely used this stamp set lots of times and I have a few more projects coming up so you're going to see it again and again I'm afraid um, but I am just pressing down onto my inked butterfly and then stamping off onto a scrap piece of paper and if I lift this up you can see that it leaves a little bit of texture behind from that stamp. Now as I said this is not super obvious because I'm using exactly the same color so I'm not changing up the color at all and if I wanted to I could add a darker color on top and that would definitely create a much um, kind of stronger effect with the stamp kissing. But this time here with the pink I actually stamped off the ink first time round and then I when I came to do the stamp kissing I have got it full strength ink so you can kind of see that one a little bit better and I really like how that looked. I actually end up redoing that bottom butterfly. I think I end up not including it here in the footage but I did redo it um, so that it was kind of the same. I stamped off the ink first and then did a second layer full strength. With this yellow butterfly I'm actually using a lighter color, I think this is the cheerful and then the darker one is the golden meadow. Uh, it's just a kind of deeper yellow color. So I press down my clean stamp and then stamp off onto the paper, scrap piece of paper and then stamp down and again I know it's yellow so it's a little bit hard to see but you can see all of that gorgeous texture there that is left behind. 
Now this is definitely an extra step. You don't have to do this at all. It would look perfectly fine without it. But just because these butterflies are bold and solid, I really like the idea of just adding a little bit of texture to them. You could also just come on in afterwards and add a stencil over top and because we'll be fussy cutting these out anyway, you could just add a stencil with some heavier ink on top. That would be another way instead of doing the stamp kissing technique as well. Then I am just going to cut these out with my little cutter bee scissors. These are my favorites and I am going to cut quite close to the orange. I don't want there to be any white showing from the outsides um, so I'm making sure that I cut just inside. Now here I did actually include the footage, sorry. <laughs> this is where I re-stamped this one and I like this one far better. And I guess this was the first one that I practiced on um, when I was stamping them originally. So the, at least I got the hang of it and found out what I wanted. And then as I said, this one is definitely more what I was thinking. And the stamp kissing is a little bit clearer on this butterfly for sure. Now I'm going to add some clear embossing powder to these. I am going to add three or four layers because I want these to be really glossy and really dimensional. I am using the Versamark sticky embossing ink and this is a really good quality one. I have used so many different uh, embossing inks over my time and I've definitely come back to this one. It is worth the investment and all I'm going to do is dip my butterflies into the clear embossing powder and then re-ink them up using the embossing ink again and you can see that's with one layer but here is the second layer. I'm kind of skipping through this because at this stage I'm sure you guys uh, know how to do the embossing but I'm going to keep dipping these butterflies and then put them in the ink and then back into the embossing powder and just reheat them. If you had some ultra thick uh, embossing powder that would work really well here as well. But honestly, this is the super fine one and this works perfectly. Now what I do want to do when I get to my last layer, when the embossing powder is still hot, when I have melted it, I am going to gently bend the butterfly when it's still nice and hot. You don't want to do it when it's dry, otherwise it will crack. But you can always reheat it a little bit if you want more of a bend or less of a bend. And I'm just going to bend the butterfly a little bit and that way it will stay dimensional when it is on the card. Now this one is actually going into a kind of big hamper of um, like a gift hamper. So I am able to put dimension on this card without having to worry about mailing it. Now sometimes that's the case. Sometimes I know that this will go on the mail or it's going to go to the other side of the world. And so I definitely work on having less dimension on my card cards and other times I know if it's going to be hand delivered or it's not even going in an envelope that I'm able to add lots of fun dimensions so it just depends what your need is and you can adjust it accordingly. If you know that you have to post this one then you can pop it down a little bit flatter or maybe even just pop a little bit of foam tape under each of the wings and that will work perfectly too. But if you've got the ability to add lots of dimension why not I say. I am using the Word Fragments stamp set here. This is one that I have used many, many, many times. I love this kind of stamp set and I love that it creates that wee frame. I'm just going to use some of the Tim Holtz long scissors and cut right around the outside and that's my sentiment done. And I'm popping this card front onto my card base. Remember we cut it down to be just a little bit smaller so that it would leave a really nice plain white border and I like that look. I have popped this up on some foam tape because remember I'm able to add as much dimension as I want here pretty much. I'm adding some Ranger Multimedium in the matte finish. That's the glue that's inside that glue bottle and it is a really strong glue. And I want that because these butterflies are only really being attached by the center of their bodies. So they are nice and dimensional. You can see that they sit up really nicely. To add a little bit of more dimension, of course, I'm going to add a little bit of foam tape behind the sentiment as well. But you could definitely just pop that down flat on your card. And I think depending on the colors or how many butterflies you wanted to do, you could, you could do all the butterflies this way and make it into a birthday card. Or you could do none of them and make it into a sympathy card. So you can just kind of take this design and layout and make it your own for whatever occasion that you need. I am taking some white Nouveau drops and just putting some tiny little dots down the body there of the butterfly. I will also pop some here, there, around the page, just a couple. You could use anything, enamel dots, or you could use color pops, or you could use Nouveau drops, anything that you have, or some gems or beads. They would look lovely down the center of the butterflies. And that is my card finish for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I will leave the links to all of the products that are still available in the description box below this video. And other than that, I will see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.